every now and again, you might find yourself in an idyllic country home in the middle of literally nowhere. And in that country home, there might be a room completely devoid of all furniture except for an odd, ornately carved wardrobe. And out of curiosity, you might open the wardrobe, push yourself through, and find yourself in a snowy kind of wonderland that looks beautiful on the surface, but is actually fraught with danger. This world is the magical land of Narnia, and like I said, it looks lovely, but if you actually plan on taking a trip there, I suggest you listen to these travel guides before you do. So firstly, if on your travels through the wonderful world of Narnia, you meet a tall, pale, imposing woman who asks you if you're perhaps a son of Adam or a daughter of Eve, it is best to lie to her. Just lie. And if she tries to get more information from you about your family members or your lineage by offering you copious amounts of Turkish delight, double down on your lies. Because who even likes Turkish delight anyway? Secondly, Narnia is incredibly cold. So you're going to need to find shelter as soon as possible. So it's best to talk to one of the many talking animals there in hopes of making friends so they'll open up their homes to you. Thirdly, when it comes to the talking animals in Narnia, please remember that not everyone is as polite and sweet and British as you are. When talking to the animals in Narnia, apply some simple earth logic. If animals are cute and cuddly prey animals, they're fine, don't worry about them. But any predator animals won't be as nice and they will view you as their next meal. Fourthly a word. Doesn't matter. Tip number four is, if you meet a talking lion who bestows on you a great destiny that you and you alone will lead Narnia through a holy war, you know, you can just say no to that. You know, destinies aren't for everyone. Sometimes you just want to kick back and do a little bit of nothing. And while holy wars and like great destinies might seem interesting at the start, halfway through you're going to be wishing that you had just stayed at home and done literally nothing. And lastly, if you truly want to live a calm, unbothered life and stay in your lane, please avoid the following. Empty rooms in country houses that have nothing in them except for a gigantic wardrobe. Paintings of old ships that seem to move and shift even though they should be completely still. And mysterious uncles or older relatives that spend all of their time shut up in dark rooms making odd rings that seem to glow in the darkness somehow. So guys, I hope that this travel guide was very helpful. If you do decide to make the trip to Narnia and you suffer some sort of fatal cosmic magic fate, that's not my fault because I gave you the tips, remember? So guys, please like this video, comment down below on some other magical places you'd like travel guides to, and please subscribe to my videos. Every Monday we talk about mental health and queer stuff, on Wednesdays we talk about fun pop culture, and on Fridays we talk about singing and music. Bye!